and welcome back to Invincible Asia. I'm George Clark and today I get to check out the Shadow Boxing, also known as Spiritual Boxer 2, released on Blu-ray by Idiot Films. Don't forget folks, before we go any further, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, ring the bell, and all that jibber jabber, and thank you very much for supporting Invincible Asia. So continuing on with Shaw Timber, I have the third and final release of Shaw Brothers titles from Idiot Films this week, which is The Shadow Boxing, aka Spiritual Boxer 2, a movie that I have never seen and I am super, super excited to get stuck into because this artwork excites me to no end. It is absolutely gorgeous. This metallic kind of cover there with these vampires on the front, this beautiful silver coating on it. It is absolutely gorgeous. Hopefully you're picking that up there and the light isn't too distracting for you. Absolutely stunning. Even those little screen grabs at the back are surrounded with that same beautiful little silver lining there. That is gorgeous and probably one of the most exciting covers I've seen on a Blu-ray release this year. As simple as it is, that is just beautifully done. Absolutely beautifully done. Loving it. Uh, new artwork by Mark Bell. Well done, Mark Bell. Very, very nice. Very excited to see more from you. That is just beautiful. But this is super exciting because this is a Largar Lung movie that again, I have never had the chance to see or watch. I love Spiritual Boxer. I have it on DVD, but also the Idiot Films Blu-ray release, but I've never seen this and I'm super excited that Idiot Films have decided to put it out there, uh, which is just wonderful. Starring Wong Yu yet again, Cecilia Wong, but also the amazing Gordon Liu and Lagar Wing, uh, Lagar Lung's brother, who is an amazing filmmaker in his own right, but quite often always seen next to Sammo Hung in many of his production, uh, productions also. But this is beautiful and I'm very, very excited. So let's get stuck into it because I can't wait to see this. Limited edition features, slipcase with brand new artwork by Mark Bell, well done. Four uh, collectible art cards, an HD transfer from the original negative in 2.35.1 aspect ratio, uh, high definition Blu-ray presentation. 2.0 Mandarin Mono with English subtitles, trailer, stills gallery, reversible sleeve featuring original Hong Kong poster artwork, and much like the other two releases this week from Idiot Films, not a lot in terms of extras, which is a damn shame, and no audio commentary, which would have been fabulous to have on such a classic movie. Oh my god, let's get stuck in. So, sliding that on out there, we have... Wow, that looks great. I mean, this is great with that reflective, but that's still nice looking. Oh my God, very excited, very, very excited. Look at that, oh my God, this is beautiful. Wow, wonderful disc. Can't wait to watch this. I'm actually, I'm really rushing through this because <laughs> I really want to go and check it out. Oh my gosh. Wow, and again, a Gordon Liu movie that I haven't had the chance to ever see, and this is very exciting for me because I'm a huge fan. I think my first Gordon Liu movie was Return to the 36th Chamber, and from then I just fell in love with the guy. He was amazing. Absolutely amazing. That's a fantastic reversible cover. That's what's going to go in, uh, since Mark has the uh, the O-ring the there. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Maybe you don't see that with that light reflecting. Of course, don't forget your spines there. You have got the colored spine and on the other side, the black one. Number 41 in the collection there. Uh, and I do have the black ones lined up along my shelf. Um, popping that open again. Let's get out those cards. <gasps> very, very exciting. I mean, I like. I don't like the fact that there's no audio commentaries or ex like many extra features on these, but I do like the... Uh, the kind of design that they're going with here. All these lobby cards uh, or photo cards have the same design on the back as you can see. But let's just uh, quickly go through them here. Here's your stars right here, which is just wonderful. I'm very excited to uh, watch this. And again, later on in life, we see Gordon Liu um, 
going back to this genre of movies with uh, Shaolin versus the Evil Dead alongside Fan Su Wong, which are fun movies. They're not amazing, but they're fun. That's a pretty cool one there. Okay, cool. I am not waiting any longer. I am dying to see this. Uh, going now to watch it, to come right back, to let you know what I think about this amazing movie and everything that's on it. So, just back after checking out the Idiot Films Blu-ray release of The Shadow Boxing, aka Spiritual Boxer 2, and before I go any further, I just found out about the passing of Lee Hoi San. Very, very sad indeed. The guy was an absolute legend, and he does appear in this movie, and I was just watching it thinking to myself, it's been some time since I've seen Lee Hoi San in anything kind of newish, modern, but you know what? This is kind of the, the period we've come to with these Kung Fu legends. They're all in that age range where we're kind of just going to start to see more and more of them drop off. And it's the curse of film. It's a time capsule. It holds them in that stage, in that that younger age where we're so impressed with them that we think they're never they're never going to change. But of course, they do get older. Um, so it is a massive loss, unfortunately. But I am kind of glad that I chose to watch this movie. Uh, on such a day um, but I, I do honestly feel so sad that another wonderful uh, legend of Kung Fu cinema is now gone. Uh, the movie itself was a lot of fun I have to say definitely uh, Mr. Vampire in its tone without the exciting vampire action um, but there's a lot of great Kung Fu comedy throughout this typical of La Gar Lung's movies of course. Uh, Wong Yu does a fantastic job, Gordon Liu when he gets started, does a brilliant job. There's quite a funny, extensive funny uh, piece with him. I don't want to give it away there, but it's very, very good. Um, and the rest of the team involved here all look wonderful. The choreography is very, very exciting, as you would expect from any Log or Lung movie. The print itself, gorgeous. Uh, again, this is the first time I've seen this movie. I had nothing to put it up against, but that HD print overall, it really looked amazing, I have to say. Uh, the menu, as you can see here, the Hong Kong artwork. I would have loved to have seen this new artwork used on the menu. I think that would have really just highlighted it more with that backlight on it there. The special features though, like with the other releases this week from Media Films, they kind of suck. You get a trailer there, it runs for just over a minute in length. It's the DVD Celestial trailer, it's not very exciting. Then you have a stills gallery that runs for just under two minutes with some HD stills, which is cool to see. But again, no poster, no audio commentary, no booklet. These are definitely some of the weaker releases that have come from Idiot in some time. Um, but hey, you know what? I still bought it, as did many of you, and it is a fantastic movie. I am glad that they did put it out there. So for that, I do give it a double thumbs up, of course. Super glad that it's in my collection. Out now from Idiot Films. So thank you once again for watching another video here on Invincible Asia. Don't forget you can check out hundreds of others here on the channel. You can also show your continued support by heading over to my new merch store or by checking out InvincibleAsia.com where you can read my full movie reviews and follow me on Instagram at InvincibleAsia. Until next time though, enjoy your Kung Fu and I will see you soon.